Hi there Aquarius, thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 16th of January. This is a really exciting week for you because on Friday the sun makes its return to your sign after an 11 month absence. This is going to start a revival, a renewal period, a time when your energy is rejuvenated, your optimism is going to come up and you're going to get very much on the front foot. Your desire to take a firmer grip on your life direction is going to be absolutely awesome. When it comes to your relationships, there's nothing as attractive as self-confidence. And I think you're going to make the transition from a more reflective mode into this time when you're really living in the moment. And that's going to draw a lot of magic to you. So, great stuff. But also, Venus, the planet of love and affection, which has been in a very advantageous part of your scope in terms of enjoying the good things in life, enhancing your appreciation of anything from good food to the arts to lovely clothes. Well, that's in an alliance with Neptune this week. This could see you doing something to help someone else. It could be a gift, it could be a gesture. Your thoughtfulness can be greatly appreciated. It may even be reciprocated too. In a romantic context, this can even bring about a really gentle sensuality. If you can have some quality time with your partner, getting up close and personal will be all the easier for even detached you. By the end of the week, Mercury, still in the part of your scope that's to do with the more psychological elements of life, is also forging a great link to Neptune as well. This suggests that you can make some terrific connections in terms of understanding yourself, but also explaining how you feel about a key situation. However, it is true to say that despite the fact that your two ruling planets continue to combine marvellously well, which can help you to be very progressive around new ideas, learning skills, especially in their link to Jupiter, and being innovative, but stepping forwards one, uh, one at a time, well, Saturn is clashing with Mars this week. So I do think it's possible that you could become more conscious of someone who's not fitting into your world as well as you would like. And it could be down to a difference of values. You can be one of the most idealistic members of the Zodiac. But that's nothing to be ashamed about. It's something to absolutely celebrate. But just be aware that someone may not meet your high standards. On the other side of the token, it could be around your financial situation that when it comes to your long-term picture, you may have to realign things in a slightly more realistic way. And if so, this could create a little bit of frustration. But try to just stick at doing things one step at a time. The sun moving into your sign is really the time of new beginnings when you can start to originate your ideas in an even fresher and more sparkling and upbeat way. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.